Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are exploring Petr Zelenka, a paramedic and nurse who is one of the worst serial killers in the Czech Republic and is known as the Heparin Killer, having used heparin to kill his victims. Born on the 27th of February 1976 in what was then Czechoslovakia and one of two children, he graduated from an agricultural school in Jilava, a regional city in the Bohemian Moravian Highlands. He began working in the healthcare industry in Brno, the second largest city in the Czech Republic. However, he was repeatedly fired for absence and unreliability. Eventually, in 1998, at the age of 22, he began working as a paramedic in the Anisphology and Resuscitation Department of the hospital in Havlikov, Bodos, 23 kilometers north of Jehalva. Eventually, he went back to university and studied to be a nurse, graduating in 2005. He then began working as a nurse shift manager in Anisphysology and Resuscitation in early 2006. He worked in a hospital in Havlikov, Brod, which was the top hospital in the Vyoskina region and the eighth best hospital in the Czech Republic. A gay man, Zelenka moved in with a partner. In the mid-2000s, his partner found a new job, causing him to be away from home for an extended period of time. Zelenka also began suffering from stress at work. He came out as a member of the LGBTQIA community to his family, which they struggled to accept. Consuming an excessive amount of alcohol, Zelenka became depressed and would cry excessively. Following an argument with his partner, he destroyed the apartment. Working in Jehalva in May 2006, Zelenka would attempt his first murder on a bedridden man who was injected with heparin, an acidic mucopolysaccharide used as an anticollagen to reduce blood clotting. The man was injected five times but survived. His first victim to die was a 68-year-old man, with Zelenka giving him heparin twice. Zelenka chose victims at random, applying heparin to patients who fell for it and to whom he had good access without other nurses around. By September 2006, there had been seven murders, with victims ranging from 57 years of age to 83, with an additional 10 attempted murders, 40 cases of unexplained bleeding, as well as 23 cases of mostly elderly patients being injected with heparin, which coincided with Zelenka being at the hospital. In December 2006, hospital primary director Pavel Longin eventually found a correlation and called Zelenka in for a meeting who confessed to his actions. It was believed that one of Zelenka's main motives was to get the doctors into a position of helplessness and test them through constant chaos and felt a sensation of glee knowing that he was the only one who knew the cause of a patient's suffering and death, knowing that he was the cause or reaction. On the 30th of November 2007, the Regional Public Prosecutor's Course in Haradek Kalove filed an indictment against Zelenka with his trial commencing on the 22nd of January 2008. Just one month later, on the 21st of February 2008, he was found guilty by the Haradek Kalove Regional County and sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum release date of 2038. His sentence was upheld by the High Court of Appeal in Prague and the Supreme Court in Brno. As a result, Zelenka was only the 34th prisoner to be sentenced to a life sentence in the history of the Czech Republic. He also had to pay damages of nearly 3 million Czech krona, or $175,500 to victims' families. Zelenka is the worst serial killer in the history of the Czech Republic. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.